On this episode of Road Dirt, we go from two wheels to three. Check this out. Stay tuned. This Road Dirt presentation is brought to you by Law Tigers, motorcycle lawyers. Find them at lawtigers.com. Rob with Road Dirt, and we have got a 2021 Polaris Slingshot SL. Now I know what you're thinking. We are Road Dirt Motorcycle Media. What are we doing with this? Well, I'm glad you asked. Really two things. One, the Polaris Slingshot is actually classified by the Fed as a motorcycle. So, hey, we'll take a ride on it. Two, Listen, if you were offered one of these by Polaris for two weeks, would you turn it down? Oh, heck no. So we have been riding this thing and gonna write about it and tell you about it as well. So check this out. We out rocking the slingshot. This thing's a lot of fun to ride. show you the engine real quick that powers this thing. It's actually a ProStar series four-cylinder. It's a uh, 2.0 liter, 2,000 cc, 122 cubic inches, however you like to measure your, your engine and displacement. And it's a proprietary engine. Um, GM used to manufacture this engine for Polaris, but in the last year or so, Polaris developed their own, and the ProStar Pro 2.0 liter is the result of their research and development. And this is one heck of a little power plant. Now the Slingshot SL model makes 178 horsepower at about 8,500 8, RPM, and the drive actually runs through the column right here and powers a, a single-sided swing arm, swing arm with a belt drive back here in the back. These are ZR rated tires. These are high performance race tires that are fore and aft on this thing. And uh, man, I tell you what, they hug the road. This is a beast. Now the Polaris Slingshot SL has got two ride modes. One of them is called comfort mode and the other one is called slingshot mode. Slingshot mode is engaged right there. You can actually engage it, not just sitting still, you can engage it out on the road while you're riding on the fly. Now, here's the difference between the two. Specifically, when you're, in, when you're in drive mode, in comfort, it actually shifts between each gear much more slowly and methodically and shifts lower in the rev range. You shift into uh, slingshot mode, it actually shifts much more sharply and it shifts higher in the rev range, about 4,500 to 5,000 RPM. It'll wind up there before it actually shifts into the next gear. Of course, that's really kind of irrelevant if you're in manual because then you're, you're paddle shifting and you're, um, you know, you're matching revs um, to the shifting on your own. So, but it's a five-speed transmission and that's how it works. One. The TFT display here in the center console actually has got three different displays on it. And um, in each one of those, you can actually, they're actually all customizable. You can set up whether you want miles, to E, um, what the interior, what the temperature is inside the engine, um, directions, uh, voltage, 
all kinds of things you can set up in it. Um, this particular model does not have a GPS, but you can, you can um, sync your phone to it and um, play music and things like that. And there is an upgrade to the system that uh, incorporates a heads-up um, TFT display uh, GPS as well. All right, to actually start the engine, you actually have to compress the brake. And watch what happens. It actually powers up the fuel pump, starts the power of the system up, and then you fire it up just like that. And you really can't engage, you can't, you gotta move forward by disengaging the brake. And you're compressing the, the, um, the brake pedal and you can shift it into gear that way. So it's all really integrated here with the, with the pull-up handle and with the brake over here to, to engage and turn everything on and get it in gear. Now the transmission also has what's called a hill hold mode. Um, we've actually seen that on some bikes we've evaluated recently as well. Which means if you're on an incline um, at a stop sign or stoplight, the vehicle will actually, without you even putting the brakes on, it will stop and hold itself right there until you engage the throttle and you move forward. That's a nice feature. So you don't feel like you're rolling back into whoever's behind you. I've actually discovered that the handbrake is critical to the ignition system. You actually have to pull it up. You can't just leave it in gear and turn it off. It'll keep beeping at you. And first time I ever did that, I was wondering, what the heck, I've got the key in my pocket, I've stepped away from it, turned everything off, but then I pulled the handbrake up and then it cut everything off that way. So it, the handbrake is even integrated into the ignition uh, in starting the machine and in cutting it off fully. So. for a ride in the slingshot. You ready, hon? Ready. All right. So Lisa and I are in the slingshot. She's actually behind the camera. <laughs> and, uh, on a beautiful September day, a few things are noteworthy about the slingshot. I mean, people think it's, you know, it's not a motorcycle, it's not a sports car, but something in between, which is true. Um, and they expect it to be like a nice, smooth ride, like if they're in a Mazda Miata or something. Uh, this is more like a roadster, like I've said before. I mean, you smell everything, you smell a bit of the exhaust, you feel everything in it. It's you hear everything, it's noisy. But to me, that's part of the attraction of it. I love the fact that it's, it's a very 
very visceral riding experience. And uh, it kind of reminds me of the old roadsters that our fathers back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. You know, they get these cars and they, they uh, get rid of the top, they chop the fenders, they just make these real open wheel, open air roadsters that were noisy, that were low to the ground, crazy fast out on the roads. modern tech, modern design version of that same kind of feel. I'm a motorcycle guy, but my wife and I both are really enjoying this. That's a fun. Okay, a little bit of a confession as we prepare to wrap this up here. Back some months ago, and really even last year, Phil and some of the other road dirt guys would periodically prod me and say, hey, we ought to evaluate a Polaris slingshot. We ought to do a slingshot. And I kept resisting it. Nope, nope, nope. It's not a motorcycle. We are road dirt motorcycle. And then all of a sudden, Polaris reaches out to us through their marketing group, the Brand Amp, offering us one for a couple of weeks, and it's like, Okay, I'm eating my words. So here we are. And I tell you what, after having this for a few weeks, the Polaris Slingshot, especially this SL model, is one heck of a great time. It handles great, it shifts well, it, uh, man, it hugs the road like the roadsters of old, like we've said earlier. And man, just yeah. the open air feel of this is as close to being on a motorcycle without being on a motorcycle as you can get. What a blast. So we love it. We think it's a great bike, a uh, great machine. We think it's a great investment. And we think it's a great opportunity for you to get out there and take a spin on one yourself. Look them up at your uh, nearby Polaris or Indian motorcycle dealership. Take one for a test spin and see if you don't like it as much as we do. This is Rob with Road Dirt. Ride life. Thank you.